Howdy all, this is your host Rogue. Welcome back to Love Again. We're continuing today playing Dredge, so I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We are gonna go all around. I think we're gonna actually go take a look at the iron rig. Uh, don't know if we're gonna do all the quests and stuff for it, but we're gonna run over there and just take a look at it. We haven't done much over there. Hope you enjoy. We want our lights. Oh yeah, I forgot this lady's over here. What? You do. Ah. You, thanks again for helping me. That's it. Alright. Nothing special. Do the iron rig. Wait a sec. That's cool. I just wanted to catch one to read if I ever caught one. Look at this big golden rig of power over here. Shall we catch some fish around it real quick? The moon fish. Beaked moon fish. Hey, is that the dock? It's the dock. Dock of the small, small metal wharf. Four giant legs stretch down deep, lifting the mountain of metal into the sky. Last storage. Where are those in storage for now? Cargo elevator. An elevator conduct, connecting the docking area to the main platform lies ahead. A man waits nearby, a yellow horn hat strapped to the concerned expression. Huh. What do you want? <laughs> what is this place? Have you heard this is the Iron Haven Corporation's new drilling rig? Or it would be if we're on schedule. Right now, it's just a platform. Uh. Boss is going to dock our pay for sure if he shows up and the drill hasn't even started. We've got the foundational stuff laid, but we've been running into some supply issues. Glances nervously at the water rolling underneath the shallow shadow of the platform. The ship's delivering crates of materials keep going up missing, and HQ says they're not able to dispatch any more for a few weeks. <sighs> Look, I wouldn't normally ask a civilian for help, but we've already been so far. Why don't I mark the last known coordinates of these ships on your hmm. map? If you're able to find any of those crates, I'm sure the Corp would use the, our facilities once we get the generator wired up, that is. I mean, these? Hmm. Ah, that ought to be enough to get the generator going. I'll get the these materials sent up to the main platform. Uh. That should be in working order, but I just checked the storeroom and it looks like we never got any fuel deliveries. I did find that you can use patch things up in a pinch, keep it at least what is this? Full repair kit. That's ah. nice. While I go figure out the fuel situation, why don't you introduce yourself to the head scientist? He always interested in hearing about our local fish species. Thanks, lad. You approach an old man pacing back and forth near a cordon off area of the main platform. He's muttering to himself quickly, oh. quietly. Huh, who are you? An angler turner courier? Isn't that right? These workers were talking about you. All good things, I promise. Say, you missed out a great deal about the fish species around here. What have you encountered in these waters? Just a regular fish species. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Instead of rolling his eyes as most people do when they 
Since uh, fishermen's tell approaching, the scientist's eyes glisten with intense ah. curiosity. That said, perhaps you'll have a little more imagination than in <sighs> others. Before we get all to that, it seems that my laboratory is also a victim of missing supply ships. Planning on conducting a research in the fish species in this area, but I can't do it without something to study. Huh. Oh, you got enough materials for the science lab now, too? We get to work. Nice. <laughs> It should be enough for your tubes and fluids, eh? Yes, more than sufficient for my needs. Thank you both. Ah. Fisherman, considering you're not on the corpse payroll, why don't you take this as a small token? Soothing tea. Foreman turns hmm. to you. I think we have a solution for our fuel problem. Come see me at the generation generator and I'll give you a rundown. Oh. It turns the fuel never got dispatched from Iron Haven at all. It was on the radio at HQ and apparently this biofuel generator is a new tech that Corp wanted for trial he out here. They expected us to supply themselves. Right. Thing is, they didn't think to outfit us with any gear for harvesting biomass and fleet services. Construction is way down on the project list. Think you can hmm. help us out again? You can add a fish or two or any other biological material, as opposed to the hopper here. Once it's filled, we ought to be able to start to drill. Too big. Get out of Moonfish. I'll have to go grab oh. some stuff and come back. How long have you worked for the Iron mm. Corporation? My professional career has been dedicated to scientific research at the corporation, so well, that's north of half a century now. Our current executive's father hired me when I was fresh out of college. He must have seen some in me all those years ago. So, huh. Alright. So dock. We have to catch some fish. Kind of hard to do when it is so dark you can't see a thing. I see some fish. May have to just go ahead and make this day. Let's just, uh, rest. No, I'm dark. We need fish. Yeah, the right equipment. Fish right here. I don't see a. These are different. I've never seen one do that. Probably go this way. A little bit more this way. Try to grab some of the foxes for the guy. Grab some more fish. Sounds like monkeys or birds. That sucked.
Now there were fish over here. That is depleted. There's no more over here for that. The zoom out. So there's one, two, three, four more box crates areas. I do not want to go into this area. We'll go back to here, deposit some fish. I love how this looks. I would love the um, old fuel light thing from these fuel bridge. The generator. Hmm. compactor clunks of life down to the pneumatic piston strain squishing soon gives way to the stuttering sound of distant gears. Ha ha, we've done it. Large capsule drops down from a chute, labeled waste, though its clear walls resemble a fish you just huh. deposit. Eh, I'll use that chum, right? It's yours if you want it. We ain't got bait. <clears throat> Pasta to attract local species. Now we finally got the drill started all clear. Initiating Field deployment in three, two, one. So the drill descends. Scientist walks over, gripping the handrails to counteract the shock of the drill. Ah. We've broken through. We're underway at last. About that huge crack that opened up, is that a reserve stable? Uh. Admittedly, the fissure is larger than the model suggested, but it appears to stabilize. We should consider halting the drill for now. Last, we should remiss our duties to the local population. If we didn't survey the area and gather some data in the vein, fishermen, I have something for you. Mm. The factory has recently became operational, allowing us to manufacture equipment infused with the corporation's latest breakthroughs. Here's a new design. That's cool. The storage. Using that rod, I need you to collect special set holes from the Maros. Like the fish species are unaffected from operations. Okay. So. We've got a few different things going on. Door storage. That away, that away. Put the bait away. Factory. Woman sits inside the doorway, stretching, catching a design in her notebook. Hey there, welcome to the factory. I'm the lead engineer here. Does your help getting things running? I'm permitted to improve your equipment with our tech. Used voice. Catches abyssal, hadial, and oceanic. Deep winch. Beautiful shallow ocean. This would be nice. Infused rod. Infused cooling rod. Fathomous winch. Iron Haven crate. 
dark canister. Hmm. Interesting. Generator. Hmm. Do a pay for biomass. All right. Boundary. A helmeted figure emerges from the shadow by building site. He lifts his visor. <sighs> he hasn't built yet. He gestures at a pile of material behind him. Hmm. That's all we need. We get the foundry built now. Good to go. Basic materials can be worked here. We want to create full of materials. Okay. And the tech lab. When the tech lab is operational, we'll be able to work on projects of a more technical nature. I have plans of interchangeable modules. You'll see. I'll show you when they're set out. Hmm. I think it appears to be in order. I'll get the team on to it. Well, so excited to try some of these ah. out. Enhanced lights. Group radius. Identify fishing spots and mark them on your map. Enhanced fog horn. Alright, cool. Class lab, how's it going? You gonna stop the drill? Mm. Oh yes, I believe the drill's already stopped our rating. Let's see. I guess that's everything for here. Tech uh. lab. Hand slot. This one's done. Okay. So we've done everything here we can do for the time being. We need glow. We'll go ahead and dock the morning. Undock. We're gonna go see if we can fish up another crate over here. Hands the light. Sweet. Went too far. Search part. Why is that a crap? This pointing us back to the greater Morrow, so we'll go check that out. Yeah, the weird sounds you hear out in the ocean. Dude, the water's black. Well, it slows you down. Go 
retrofit the boat to do these missions. Hopefully, it won't be too much of a pain to do that. some of our fishing pots. Take what we can take. Alright. Just sell some fish. Retrofit our boat. old Jolly Roger over here. Mm -hmm. I'd like to toss a few more of these big bad boys out there. Uh -huh. Shipwright. This will give us two more cargo spaces. Any more wood? One more piece of wood. do the hoist or I could do normal fishing line. Um, research first. That'll give us another one of those. We haven't really messed with the net too, too much. Let's 
I'm trying to think what would be best for us. I think that would be. Move this aside. Now we can definitely see. Seven. I mean, what that was twenty six versus fifteen and nine. I mean, it's going to be right about the same. We use the hydraulic rod all the time, though. That's what sucks. I don't want to get rid of the hydraulic rod. So we got the infused rod. Trying to see. But there's no good way. It is coastal shallow, coastal shallow, so. I guess that's alright. Yeah, we're buying all your crab pots today. Cucumber, we go right here. Alright. Still gonna come through here and empty out some pots. Here to turn on this other flag. This was the painter. Hmm. The flag. No. Leave. Undone. to sell one more load of this then we're gonna go fish out this new gunky area This stuff looks like black sludge. He's 
things are different. That sucks. These are some weird looking fish. different. That looks like that. Paddlefish. I need to go on into the rock. Over here. We've already got a bunch of them. Take all this. We don't have room for that. Or that. We need to take all this to the platform. Then we can come back and do some more. Figure emerges from the lower decks and beckons you into the shadows. If you're going to be hanging around, maybe you can get business. Come meet me at the undermarket alone. Well, that's curious. <sighs> Got some items you might be interested in. Don't ask me where they come from. Better off not knowing. Can't make some basic repairs too, but it'll cost you. Glacial Lance. Ice Oceanic. Flexible. Barbed ice rod. Which is ice, hydraulic rod, a different than the one I have. Is 
definitely take that. Put that into storage. Sell you. I don't think I need these anymore. Alright. Alright, let's see. It was the science mm. lab. How's it going? Submit mm. some samples. This guy. Oh, I could have caught brought that. It'll get you a sea cucumber. That's it for now. into the rocks. Shot. I guess we're going to have to discard that one. Take all. Take the little crabby guy. This little crabby guy. This sells fish. Fishmonger. Storage. Storage. I'm gonna take some of these fancy dancy pots. Anywhere I could fit them. You're good to go. Let us undock. Kinda curious if we can figure No Dude, hardcore. How we dodge that one. Get the other one. Got our key. All right, so we need to go all the way back up there. Ooh. Something 
some gold. What do we got here? A serpent plot. I don't know if I trust that boat. Pull up alongside the boat on anchor. There are signs. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Once immediately, a slot on the door opens, and a pair of frantic eyes peek at you. <gasps> Who goes there? Fisherman. <sighs> what do you want? Just check to see if you're okay. Did I see you okay? No. Very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering the package to Little Mara. Be in stock. A huge leviathan lurks deep. Those deep waters. I've seen it. It's hung in the water with a gaping mouth just below the boat. We were to swallow the vessel, but if I had them both across the shallows, I don't I go any further in this accursed island chain. I can deliver the package a little more for you. Mm. Well, that would work. Here you go. Large package. Carrier pushes along the brown package at the door hole, squishes, and hands you dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. He's bound for the draw worker at Little Morrow. Not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Some things I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. Now I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods, I don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful of that thing, whatever it is. Why don't you take this too? Book. Be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. You've been through some crap, man. Good for you. Guys, I made for my first time ever chicken bulgogi yesterday. It was pretty bomb. Overcooked the chicken just slightly, not much. It wasn't dry. It was a little darker than I like. But it was the bomb. First time making chicken bulgogi. Alright, so. Go back to Little Morrow. Actually, can I drop these off? I'd like to try doing some of these fishing pots over here. Fishing. There's a few crabs over here, not many. Look at that big bad boy. But this will help me also always keep uh, fuel in the sky. Now we gotta travel in the darkness. spooky this game is, because it really is. If you are in some crap with this. Go ship. You just turned around. Where are you going, buddy? You ain't a ship. That is not a ship.
off. Kick off. Kick off. Can't take you. How do I attack? There's some squishy guys around. Just throw one of those in the storage. Um, dock worker. How the trade in you? I got a package for you. Delivery. Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. Takes a large package, examines with his hands, lifts one ear, listens, seems to have Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. Turn the hurries off down the dock without another word. Cue or compensation. Kind of a. Dick move, but um, did I? I thought I got a fly. Mm -hmm. Got it. Neat design, though. Uh, leave. leave. We're gonna go uh, turn in a bunch of crayons. Search part. And we will leave. Don't crash into the rocks. We'll fill up what we can. We don't have to be perfect. Going back to the iron rig. Let's see what else we can upgrade or do. We've also got three crates, luckily. So with the three crates, that, uh, that should be a few things to be either unlock or upgrade. There's a fourth crate, and I can't fifth crate. Can't get them. I'm maxed out. That sucks. Maybe not the wisest idea to fully fully set up. I mean, go right back where we I forgot. I drop a few of these. Which that should allow me for him to pick this up. Oh my goodness. 
going to be the pain. in it. Cucumber. Besides this back, he consults some papers at desks and leaves her an old encyclopedia. This is remarkable. Some of these species, have you caught these before? I mean, in, seen outside the fossil record since, well, ever. Oh. It doesn't make sense that fish are open and cause some kind of disturbance to the deep, possibly spooky some of these fish up the water column. I'll run some tests on these. The scientist is interrupted by the foreman outside, shouting, Here's megaphone again. The foreman bellows more. Gauge reverse gear. Get the drill out of there. Drill is clear. I repeat, drill is clear. Shut it down. As I was saying, I'll run some quick tests on these specimens. So the samplings may have additional samples again. Uh. Seems the reservoir is unstable and more unstable than anticipated. Even the, the drill removed, it seems like the fissure is continuing to expand. Unfortunately, there have been some reports of contaminants leaking from the fissure in isolated uh. pockets. Though there's a chance this might happen, the engineer at the factory has been working in the systems to siphon out such contaminants from the water. Very much like a canister. Huh. Trying to keep a record where all that dark liquid has been showing up. Come see me if you need pointing any pointing to any of the contamination patches. Alright. We got a few different things we can do. First, let's go to the under market. <laughs> let's buy research pieces. Go to the generator. I'm gonna sell all fish. You in storage. Lab. Foreman says we're due to start an extension to the building soon. The swing is an enhancement of both lights and spy glass. Some 
Bructine. So we enhance our spyglass to hand star particles. Hmm. Air, that's everything we get to work. Tech lab is fully built mm. now. These modules can be attached to your ship. Placements flexible too. They can be wired to up to wherever they need to go. Increases the rotational speed. Burst gear. Increases the winching speed. Real accelerator. Heat sink. Corral guidance ship. Increases the pitch rate. Want any of that right now? Probably a little later. Mm -hmm. Boundary. Boundary mm -hmm. still. Like the blue front. Really don't want to construct a crate. Hmm. Factory. We're in the planning stage of an expansion to the factory. Maybe we'll be able to help out. Because of your help getting things running here, I'm permitted to improve your tech. Burt canister, fathomless winch. Hmm. Use poise, use winch. Hydraulic rod, dark canister, iron hammer break. We have a dark canister. The bait. Yeah. Hmm. Now well, let's get to work. After these port facilities have improved, we can make some more items yeah. now. The siphon trawler. Material harvester. Awesome trap. Mm. Hmm. This is this basic trial net and a crate. Out of crates. Science mm. lab. Leave you. Used all my research. Actually, let's go back to the other under mark real quick. I don't know if I'll need explosives or not. Put that in storage, put that in storage. The whole reason I was wanting to go there was to buy pots. He doesn't sell fishing pots. Really far from that. Rest. This way, see if there's any crates, and we'll head super far away. Alright, not seeing anything over here. Next one is... Basically, going around the mall. Because we're basically on where there'd be crates.
He got a busted monocle. down that we are nowhere near any of this. Let's go with this. You're finished. Upgrade our boat anymore. Maybe take a research part. I need to go around all of this. Like this direction. Whoa. What is going on over here? Nothing over there, symbols. We are going to leave. the dredge. I'm gonna have to end up stopping somewhere and throwing everything in the storage. Yeah, we definitely gonna have to go somewhere.
definitely will take the research parts. say so we'll undock and we'll do some fishing. Now the right equipment. Okay. Tiger macro. We supposed to catch the one that says we do not have the right thing for. Heck is that? Um. Let's just, you know, pull up next to you. Pistol shower, pistol shower. I just have a feeling I'm gonna need to have it attached. Let's do some research. The reinforced craft pot. We have two more for the large crowd. Pots quite profitable, yeah. Well, 
wonder what kind of evil I'm gonna catch in these things out uh, here. Is I'm going to place them right here. This is going to cause issues that I can't catch anything bigger. It needs to be oceanic. I got an ocean. some of this. Hey, you already tossed me. A different style of crap. Let's go ahead pull and see what we got. We wanna put one of those, one of those. I don't know what this dark ooze is for. I don't know if I need to keep it. Oh, I'm here. Go to shit. It is a new day. be available next. Alright, I'm done. Okay. Here's 
actually do have some stuff open. And we are going to redock real quick. Hmm. Yard. Hey. Been that. How's our books going? Doing good there. Messages. The 6th and 7th March of 1927. We are engaged to be married. She sailed us out to the very center of the stellar base in the Sea of Lights. We talked for hours, something we have not done for such a long time. Waiting and hoping, some time passed in the night as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep. The aurora shimmered in the sky above. When I turned to see his reaction, he had already down on one knee. I cannot remember what he said, or what I said, but I know I said yes. The ring is beautiful. With a span of jewels going right around, I cannot take my eyes off it. Yes, I'm not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred in the conjunction of days. But I feel the news is significant enough to work, spanning multiple entries. September 14th, 1927. I've not written in a few days. I've been afflicted by some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep up the keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here and they're illegible. The most of what has hauled up was junk. They eventually came up with a large wooden casket. The hush came over the career as such a tantalizing discovery. Or in the next moments with exciting clarity. He pried it open. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloths spilled out on the deck. The waves crashed and rose to my ears. I hear them still. He stared down at the open casket that turned to me with his eyes. I saw the void. The next page was torn from here. With that, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. See you guys next time.